Hello everyone, this is JPL, back for another Thought Topic. Now, if you're new to Thought Topics, what well, essentially a Thought Topic is, I'm presented or I present a thought or topic, and I give my thoughts on that topic. So, the thought or topic that I want to bring up for this Thought Topic is the Golden Age. Such an interesting thing. I, I don't know what got me interested, but, you know, the Golden Age is just a, a concept that, you know, we all like to think about. The, the point in life where things were at its best. Um, we, we were the most uh, happy, the most peaceful, the most prosperous in life. Um, everyone has their own individual Golden Age, and everything has a golden age itself. I think the term golden age originated in Greek mythology. Um, and there are actually five uh, golden ages, which the first is gold, the second is the silver, the third is the bronze, the fourth is heroic, which is an odd age to have, and the fifth is iron. So, the fourth being heroic, I don't know. Is that is that a form of metal? that I'm unaware of, because, uh, I don't know, it's an odd age to have, um, that we have, so, those are five ages that people have in life, so, so I think, I don't remember, um, it's been a while since I looked this up about the Golden Age and Greek mythology, or something like that, but, but, essentially, that's what I believe what the concept is, so, maybe I can go over what some Golden Ages are. Um, for, so first things first, I'll just go over what is potentially the golden age for My Little Pony and the Brony fandom. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I think the golden age lies between 2011 and 2012. Those two years I consider the golden age of the Brony fandom. And uh, let me give my reason for that. Um, while, you know, some people might consider the time during Season 5 to be the best time, or maybe now is the best time, um, the reason why I, I claim 2011-2012 uh, to be the Golden Age is because that's when the Brony fandom started. That's when they first started being this community. And, you know, it was, you know, this great popular thing. Um, something that can never happen. Now, um, it's just a common thing. Um, it's not it's, it's not really brand new. It's not really um, this momentous moment that you've never done before. It's it's now something you, that you know happens, that you know existed, and you're going to do it again. And, and if you, even if you go to the first time, um, Everyone else, most people, most people there, um, have done something like this before. And so when I say 2012 and 2011, because of the first time, the the feelings and emotions that you get for the first time are the best thing that you can ever have. So the Brony fandom, I feel, 2011 and 2012 is the golden age. For from my personal perspective, in the Brony year 2015. I feel like is the best year because of, of personal reasons. Um, I feel like that's when we had the best fan work um, put together. That's when I feel like we had the best season of the show. We had the like the best people in conventions, and you know it was a fun and fantastic time. Um, so yeah. Now there's Doctor Who. Now I can't um, speak too much about Doctor Who, but. <clears throat> because people have so many different ideas for a golden age of Doctor Who. Um, if I'm going to be honest, there's bias into what I have to say. I think that the golden age of Doctor Who, and I'm talking about the new Doctor Who, new Who, lies between 2010 and 2013. From season 5 to the day of the Doctor, even the time of the Doctor. The whole Matt Smith era, I think, is a golden age. Because that was when um, Doctor Who became very popular in the U.S. 
uh, Matt Smith and the Stephen Moffat era is, you know, very popular in the U.S. because the writing style people just liked more. I got into Doctor Who during the Matt Smith era. I went to the uh, 50th anniversary special in the theaters, uh, and I loved it. It was a, it's a great time, and, and you know, it's fantastic. So, through through my perspective, through what I've seen, I, I would consider uh, 2010 to 2013 the golden age for the new Who, from the American perspective. Maybe the British uh, perspective might consider season one to season four, um, or maybe season two to season four, the David Tennant era. We'll see. Um, a, a, a lot of people like to argue about the Golden Age of Bionicle and what that, when that was. Um, a lot of people consider the Golden Age of Bionicle being the original uh, first three sets, you know, the Toa Mata, the Toa Nuva, uh, the Rakshi, the Balrock, those uh, characters. But I feel like the Golden Age, for me, is what a lot of people consider the Silver Age, um, which would be the Toa Metru, with Metru Nui and all that. And, you know, uh, this right here, I'm glad I have this right here. Um, with, you know, Vakama and, you know, the these heroes of Toa, you know, I consider this the Golden Age because there, you know, they had so many advancements in the technology of how they did this that, you know, um, it's just so cool to have. And, you know, while they're all the same replica and builds, there's still a bit of uniqueness to have in this. And, you know, all the villains were cool, you know, we had movable limbs and such so innovative in this time that I feel like this is probably the best time because this is probably when a lot of people outside of the US became fans of Bionicle. Now, um, there is a term, the Golden Age, for comic books. Now, I, I don't know when that is, I don't remember. Um, I don't think that the Golden Age of comic books is, you know, the 60s era, the light-hearted uh, comic book series. I think that's possibly the Silver Age. If it's not, then you know, it probably is the Golden Age. I don't remember too well. Where, if you watch Batman the Brave and the Bold, um, that style is pretty much what I'm talking about. You know, the whole campy humor, the, the Adam West Batman, the perfect example. Um, so in DC Comics area, they call that the Golden Age. I, I could consider the time with Frank Miller uh, the Killing Joke and the Dark Knight parts possibly be my version of a Golden Age because those are my favorite stories um, for that. I can't exactly uh, nail down a Golden Age for Star Wars. Um, a lot of people might consider it just the original trilogy, which I'll have to. I'll probably have to agree with that because um, that's when everyone agreed that Star Wars was fantastic at the time. Because, look, I, I grew up with the prequels. I love them. They're my favorite Star Wars movies. However, I do feel like for the fan base, during the original trilogy, that was the best time for them. There was no negativity towards the new movies. Um, at least not much. And so, there we go. I, I would consider that the golden age for that. And everyone in their lives has a golden age. Um, I know that personally in my life, uh, I consider my own personal golden age to be 2013 to 2015. Um, because the best moments of my life happened in those years. Um, and the worst moment in my life ended that era. Um, but it was still a good year, a good era for me. Um, pretty much what started the Golden Age was, um, of course, Doctor Who with the 50th anniversary special, the time of the Doctor, that whole year. That whole year, 2013, was great because that's where I got into to things that, you know, had the biggest influence on me. I got into Minecraft, which was a fun game, good learning opportunity. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I, I eventually got into My Little Pony, 
uh, in 2015, late 2014, um, the end, towards the end of the, my golden era, which was a great time, and, and I do enjoy it. Um, the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, was still going on at the time, uh, and then, you know, started Star Wars Rebels in that time span at the same time. And during that time, I actually did like those, like Rebels, um, very early on during that whole time period. I, I also will possibly say, um, for a CW fan, um, that was my favorite time of watching it, you know. Seasons 1 through 3 of Arrow, seasons 1 and 2 of The Flash was the only thing we had at that time. And I feel like those were the best parts of those shows. Other things that, you know, during that time that I found the best was I got into more video games. More of the video games, you know, knowledge of it. More of the story of the games. And, you know, it was it was good. I, I love that time. 2015 was a great year for video games, I feel. Um, this year is a good game, a year for video games. Something that I want to add here, this is an add-on, a separate video type thing, um, is like during my golden age of the 2013 and 2015, that's when I got very much into reading books as well. Um, I got very, uh, I read so much of the Giver trilogy, I loved it so much. I got into Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I read the five books by uh, Douglas Adams, fantastic books. I enjoyed them so much. I loved them. I tried reading The Lord of the Rings, only got through 18%, maybe 19% of the whole trilogy. Um, I got to Will, where our characters got to Rivendell. And that's pretty much it. And then, of course, you know, once I got into the Brony fandom, during that year, uh, I went, I got into a lot of the fan fictions. I. I read, you know, the the big fan fictions, Milo Mordashi, Cupcakes, Rainbow Factory, and then of course Fallout Equestria. Um, I started reading that during that time, which was an interesting time, and I do, I did enjoy reading those. It was very fun, and so, you know, after that golden age, my reading kind of uh, went down a bit. But I feel like my readings kind of sort of coming back in a small sense. It's not where it, it used to be, but it is still okay. I can't really say much else that I, f I can explain. There's so much that we can talk about. I guess, you know, uh, during the beginning of the, my golden age, I, I started my inspiration for writing. And, you know, that's continued going. And that's probably where I feel like my, the best that I thought of writing was at that time. I'm continuing my writing now. I do feel like now I have the better grasp of my writing, but I still enjoy the fun I had uh, the first time. So, people's golden ages will actually change when life goes on. Um, because 2013 and 2015, I, it was the best moments of my life. But I do feel like in the future, that could actually turn into the silver or bronze age. Maybe even the iron age. I do feel like there could be more things that happen in life that become the best times of a year. Normally the best time of your life is when you first get married and then you first get a kid. Um, great beautiful times. And so through, through the perspective of a Christian that I'm gonna put into this, we don't, our golden age hasn't arrived yet. What, we, what we've just experienced now, what we consider our best, is actually the Iron Age. Actually, no, it's below iron. It's like silicon. It's tinfoil uh, compared to what's coming, which is the second coming of Jesus Christ. When we're finally in heaven with God, that is the golden age that will last for the rest of eternity. And it will be glorious. Imagine such a golden age. Take heed. Look at the golden age in your life and know that it will get so much better in the future. That's all I have for this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.